the same thing, then, you know, if uh, anything goes wrong in your life and somehow you you get a make-a-wish, you know, you know <laughs> what to do. You know what to do. <laughs> Wish to swim through spaghetti? Yes. That'd take a lot of spaghetti to, I've like... I've seen it before. Have you? Yes, it's been a make-a-wish before. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Never knows? mind. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Wow. Okay. So we're getting some uh, double double Rosa action here. Uh, we just saw we just saw Mage play. So uh -huh. we'll get to see him again. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, be interesting to see how Light's Corrin does against Rosalina. I feel like the spacing for the character is gonna make Rosalina's life really, really difficult. The, um, like the the safe pins in general. Light's very good at use, utilizing the like full jump pin as like a safe way to poke at his opponent and then going into like down airs or forward airs or all sorts of aerial mix-ups afterwards. Uh, and I feel like that's going to be a problem for Rosalina. I think uh, I think this is interesting for Light because I think he's got a Zero Suit as well. Mm -hmm. Zero Suit does really well in this matchup. I really like how she plays out. Yeah. Um, but that, man, that yeah. pin <laughs> demolishes <laughs> Right, yeah. Luma. The fact that it just killed Luma instantly like, is pretty huge deal for Rosalina. Now, a lot of characters, you know, they can say that they deal with Luma easily, but it's usually not that easily. Yeah, not frame. What what move will that come out at earliest? Like four or seven? Um, or I think it's around seven. Uh, I used to know the numbers uh, off the top of my head. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. There's a big craze about it. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it is a very fast move. I mean, seven fr seven frames is like the average F tilt. So that's like it's not slow by any means. <laughs> Very, very fast move. Very safe as well. Very hard hitting. Also hard hitting oh, is that counter. <laughs> she turns into top. a dragon and eats your stock. <laughs> eats your stock. I love it. Yeah, it just, she noms it up. It's gone. Um, I like to see, like, uh, mages, and this isn't really talked about a lot, mm -hmm. but uh, so obviously the game plan versus Rosalina is to kill Luma, right? Right, how, right? How well can you do that? How well can you disarm her? Uh, often, a lot of times, we don't talk about how Rosalina counters the normal ways of killing Luma. Mm -hmm. If you've noticed, uh, Mage of Symphonia has actually gotten quite a few more punishes on uh, Light the Lantern from trying to go for these pen kills on Luma. We'll see if we can get it get it again. Mm -hmm. But he's he's starting to learn the space. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Light's definitely got to utilize it a little bit more early on in the game. A little bit too low on that down air. Definitely. He did that in doubles too. I was yeah. so mad at him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Light definitely likes the move. He likes. I feel like Light just like likes moving around and like using burst movement in general, like zipping around the stage whenever he can. Uh, oh, yes. Which I don't blame him. It's really fun stuff. Dang, I think that side he actually saved Luma. Yeah, he's, that's actually dead. the second time he's done that this game. Yeah. That's okay. We okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, that that pin gonna end her, end her rightly. Ooh. A little bit of a Oof. teleportation. Uh, a little burst, bit. Burst <laughs> movement. Burst movement, yeah. That happens on Battlefield a lot, too. Um, Lilac. Lilac. Uh, at any stage of the platforms that like that low height like that, uh, Corrin can start the pin, like, just, like, around the height of the platform, a little bit below, and then, you know, she'll, she'll teleport up. Nice. Shank. Good night. I also think it's a little, uh, a little more prevalent on Meverse. I think the platforms okay. on Meverse are a little bit lower than... The other two, I think they're a little lower, and I think yeah. they're a little bit longer as well. Interesting. Yeah, I remember hearing people talk about that a while back. Um, how there is like technically slight differences between it and Battlefield that weren't like it keeping it as its own stage on the stage list, but yeah. And yeah. Meverse is a great stage. Uh, if people, you know, if people really don't like Dreamland, I don't know why we don't just replace it with Meverse. Uh, yeah, I, I think just because of that like mentality, people think it's too close to Battlefield that it's like not really uh, worth uh, an additional stage on the stage list. But I don't know. That's a yeah, that's a discussion. We'll we'll do a mid a mid set discussion on that. <laughs> right, maybe, maybe after the set's over, we'll talk about that. Good oh, control, good scary downer. aggression. Yeah, yeah, good call out. The up air at that high up could have spelled doom. <laughs> the the multi-hits on the down air like that. Uh, Ooh, that pivot grab was perfect. Yeah. Another pivot grab. Okay, I'm digging this. Right. Yeah, Light's... Uh, he, oh, okay. Just barely living. Light's like, I feel like Light's kind of like a hyperactive player. He, he definitely likes like put, pushing buttons and making this happen a lot. Um, which from is a very easy trait to like point out as a bad trait for low-level players. But eventually you get up to the point um, where I feel like either players... 
where, where either they like they tone back the aggression or they just get really, really, really good at pressing buttons very consistently. And I feel like Light is definitely in that latter category. Um, despite the fact that he's pressing buttons a lot of the time and like in a pretty like steady pattern, like it's very easy to tell when he's gonna press buttons. But he's got uh, gotten good enough at it and gotten uh, like the safe, safe enough setups that despite that, it's still uh, a positive trait. That is an incredibly interesting analysis. As a yeah. non-aggressive player. Right, yeah, yeah, I would definitely point you in the, <laughs> the opposite side of that spectrum. Yeah, yeah. I, it's very interesting to hear, because uh, if you guys didn't know, Stefan is very aggressive. I do, I do like pressing buttons. He presses lots of buttons. Oh, don't you just hate when a dragon headbutts you in the right. back? Right, yeah, very rude. <laughs> you're just, you're fighting this little girl with a sword and suddenly she's a dragon. Happens all the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh... Rosalina not letting Ooh. that put her down. Still controlling space. Yep, 100% It's going to be up. really rough for him to get back down. Ooh, Ooh, I see what he's setting up for. Right, right. He, again, didn't account for Light's aggression. Yeah, uh -huh. he's, he's, he's down there to in, on top of him whenever he was above him, like three or four or five times in a row now. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be afraid to say five times. Like, we'll probably see it another time. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Dragon this is a yeah. good situation. Two frame. Mm. Trying for it. I like the pivot grabs from oh, the Oh, that time, though, getting punished pretty hard for the full hop side B. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, interesting that uh, that Mage was able to actually just, like, squeeze in there and punish that. Because there isn't too much end lag on it. Um, whatever it's in the air, he usually can do it, like, falling down or falling aerials. Um, and because of the distance of the move, it's very difficult to be inside the range where you can run up and do something to it before you can put buttons up. But yeah, that was excellent spacing by Mage. Yeah. You know, Rosalina does... For being such a tall woman, woman, mm -hmm. she uh she contorts her body a lot. Like yeah, if yeah, you yeah. see like her run animation, and you'll see like her up smash animation. She like bends down. Yeah, <laughs> she turns into a tree and just like bends at a forty-five degree angle and then comes back up. Yeah, uh, it's uh it actually changes a lot of the game. Ooh, that was gonna be a nice mix up. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Ouch! That's hard to tech. No. Yeah, <laughs> he's just pressing lots of buttons. Yeah. That's cool. That's interesting, though. Uh, I think it's uh, there is not enough aggressive players in the world. It's uh, so hard to play aggressively. Right. That's what I was about to say. I feel like this game in particular is pretty hard to play aggressively. Um, there are some characters that do it a little bit better than others. I feel like uh, Corrin is a good pick for like light sort of playstyle because of the fact that Pin is so safe. Um, but yeah, there, there aren't like too many others that like can be this... Uh, <laughs> This uh, prolific in their button pressing. I think Sheik is like one of those guys. Sheik is one of them. Yeah, she, I feel like her, her aggression isn't like quite balls to the wall aggression, but it is still. Uh, but it can be. That's the yeah. thing. Like, of course, Corrin can play super uh, uh, spacey, kind of like mm -hmm. Cosmo. Cosmo definitely. A little bit more. Yeah, more more spacing pressure than more uh, spacing stage control kind of. Whoa. Oh yeah, and that is another scary thing about uh, Corrin's uh, play because she has so many threats whenever you're off stage. She has the pin, she has the dragon lunge, and then you know if you happen to be in spacing whenever those aren't going to work, that F smash of course is still a very big threat. It can be difficult weaving through all like the different threat zones that she has. Yeah, the I think Ooh. the biggest problem is uh, some of these moves come out so fast you cannot react. Yes, to there is no reacting. There is a. Uh, like, some characters have, like, Bouncing Fish. Like, when she throws you off stage and Bouncing Fishes, you can react. You yeah. can use your react in time to beat out ba Bouncing Fish. But pin. Pin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no Not way. happening. Ooh, excellent bait from Mage. No rage on the up smash, though. Ooh. Okay. Safe ledge pressure. Knows that he needs to tack on a little bit more damage before he can finish this stock off. Up there. Going to be close. Not on Battlefield. You know what? Does uh do counters scale on knockback? Most of them scale on knockback. Well, I, I'm not sure exactly if it's knockback or damage specifically. Because if it's knockback, uh, and Luma's up air has like base 90 or 100. Oh god, yeah, that can <laughs> that can have bad things. Yeah. Ca counter uh the yeah the, the up air super high up. I know. Yeah, because I know it doesn't do like too much damage. Nice pins. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that'd be interesting. Like I feel like if you if you counter like a finishing touch, it wouldn't do anything. Possibly not. It might be bad damage based. Yeah. I'd be interested to see. <laughs> yeah, we need we need that to happen. Yeah, someone does that. Good disarming of Luma. Yeah, the lights got a really comfortable lead now. Solid 87%. Mage still no Luma once again. 
Bats, but having a pretty hard time keeping Luma alive this game. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it goes again. Or, yeah, as soon as she's in the door, out the door. A little Simpson gif with the grandpa. <laughs> Hello, goodbye, I'm out. I just want to say that if uh, Light wins here, he's in winner's finals for the second time in a row. Right, right. And it's, man, it's looking like it. 100% lead. Okay, yeah, looking for the two frame. Still That's managing to kick. so good because that killed Luma. Right, yeah, it killed Luma. It was safe. Um, put on damage. And That's the it. pin there. Yeah, the, whew, yeah, Mage looking a little overwhelmed. Yeah, that was a very dominant and convincing yeah, victory right very there. very convincing. Yeah, the pins on the, the platforms on Battlefield are so scary because not only does it you, – you, it kind of, like, combines the two aspects of, like, insta-pin being safe and the, uh, the trait of full jumps uh, –